Hello friends, welcome to Vanik Smart Class. Today we will discuss about the reproductive system of human being. In this video, we will discuss about male reproductive system and in next video, we will discuss female reproductive system. Let us come. <coughs> so many questions will come from these chapters also. Reproductive system is also very important for your various examination. So, come to point means male reproductive system. So, this is the diagram of male reproductive system of human being. Okay. And it contains one penis that is called copulatory organ and one pair of testes. Okay. Now, we will discuss what is the function of testes and what is the function of penis. Okay. So, first come to that is called testes. So, there is one pair of testes and testes is the organ that produces sperm. Okay. Now, come to point, this testes present a sac or balloon like structure that is called scotal sac. This is the internal structure that is why a scotal sac is not here. So, I am, I am making this what scotal sac that is called scotal sac or scotum. Okay. That is called scotum scotum or or scotal sac scotal sac okay what is the function of this scotal sac its temperature is 2 degree below the body temperature why testis is responsible for formation of sperm and that sperm require low temperature for surviving so that's why it maintain the temperature of the testes so that sperm can survive. The question can come ki in which body organ the temperature is 2 degree below the body temperature. So, your answer is scotal sac. Okay. Now, we will discuss how sperm is, uh, is formed inside the testes. Now, this is the internal structure of the testes. If you will draw the TS of the testis, this is called TS of the testis. TS means transverse section. TS means what? Transverse section. So, you will get some circular chamber like organ, means chamber like substance or chamber like structures present inside the testis. When you take the TS, any yani transverse section of the testis, and inside it, so many cylindrical tube like structures are there like this that is called cylindrical structure and that is called seminiferous tubule. So, I am drawing separately this figure means that chamber you will discuss about this chamber elaborately. So, what you will get now listen this is that chamber this is not TS of testis this is the this chamber, I am taking elaborately form of this chamber, where we will get that cylindrical tube like structure that is called seminiferous tubule. I am writing here that is called seminiferous, seminiferous tubule, seminiferous tubule. Clear? Now, Inside the seminiferous tubule that is called germinal epithelial cell or spermatogonia that is called spermato, spermatogonia. Okay. And that spermatogonia undergoes spermatogenesis to form sperms. Later we will discuss about the spermatogenesis. Now see another type of cell that is present inside the seminiferous tubule. What is the name of that thing? That is called Setoli cell. What is that? That is called Setoli cell. Setoli cell. This cell provides nourishment to the developing sperm. Okay? Now, inside, in between the seminiferous tubule, another cell is present 
another cell is present that is called now this cells these are called ladic cell ladic cell what is the function of ladic cell ladic cell or interstitial cell that is other name of ladic cell is called interstitial cell then what is the function of that ladic cell or interstitial cell it help in formation of a hormone that is called testosterone and the function of testosterone is increase the secondary sexual character of male like deep voice beard mustache muscles sexual urge etc etc that are the secondary sexual character of a male when we will discuss about female reproductive system that we will discuss that another hormone that is called estrogen that is responsible for female secondary sexual character okay now this part is over now we will discuss about this spermatogenesis listen now this is our spermatogonia that is called spermatogonia and here no, chromosome number is diploid okay now it undergo mitosis mitosis and form you know mitosis this is a type of cell division where two daughter cell are formed from parent cell, parent cell and here chromosome number is equal so now this is again 2n and this is also 2n means chromosome number is constant okay chromosome number is constant now see that is called for primary primary spermatocyte primary spermatocyte and this spermatogonia become reserve for another spermatogenesis now it undergo meiosis we know meiosis takes place inside only the sex cell where sperm or ovum are produced produced and meiosis is divided into two type it is a type of cell division that occurs only in the sex cell and it has two type meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so in the meiosis 1 what will happen chromosome number become half listen that chromosome number become half that means converted to what n and n this is called secondary spermatocyte secondary spermato secondary spermatocyte clear now see this is primary spermatocyte and this is called secondary spermatocyte now it undergo meiosis 2 listen and here chromosome number become equal okay this is called meiosis 1 meiosis 1 and this is called meiosis 2 to so in meiosis 2 chromosome number never change that, uh, that's why meiosis 2 is equal to mitosis clear that that question may be asked ki which phase of meiosis is similar to mitosis that is meiosis 2 okay now chromosome number never change so that is called spermatid what is that that is called sperma spermatid t i t i d spermatid that is called spermatid now this undergo another process that is called spermiogenesis that is called spermio spermiogenesis where four number of four number of sperms are form okay having equal number of chromosome having equal number of chromosome that means nn that means sperm is haploid means here half set of chromosome takes place so in sex cell when it undergo cell division only sex chromosome are active so in male that is one pair sex chromosome that is called xy but in female that is xx 
ओके तो इफ आई विल राइट हियर एक्स वाई तो दैट इज ऑल्सो एक्स वाई एंड एक्स वाई एंड नाउ दिस बिकम्स टू एक्स एंड दिस बिकम टू वाई सॉरी दैट इज वाई दैट इज वाई नाउ दैट टू वाई एंड दैट टू एक्स तो हियर एक्स एक्स एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड वाई वाई इन दिस वे फोर्स फॉर्म्स आर फॉर्म टू हैविंग एक्स क्रोमोजोम एंड टू हैविंग वाई क्रोमोजोम क्लियर नाउ दैट आफ्टर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दैट स्पॉर्म दे आर डिपोजिटेड हियर दैट इज कॉल्ड एपिडाइनोमिस तो दे मे आस्क द क्वेश्चन द स्टोर हाउस ऑफ दिस फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड व्हाट एपिडाइनोमिस ओके नाउ ड्यूरिंग द रिप्रोडक्शन व्हाट विल हैपन दैट स्पॉर्म गोस थ्रू दिस ट्यूब एंड व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस ट्यूब दैट दिस इज आल्सो सेम ट्यूब दैट इज कॉल्ड भास डिफरेंस तो व्हिच इज द कैरियर ऑफ स्पॉर्म <coughs> from excuse me from epididymis to this part this part this tube is called urethra what is that <coughs> that is called urethra so that the the tube they will they can ask the question the tube that carries sperm from epididymis to the urethra is called what that is called vas deferens okay now one interesting thing this is our urinary bladder and this is the depositing organ of urine तो यूरिन आल्सो पासेस थ्रो दिस यूरेथ्रा अगेन वन इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज द कॉमन पासेस ऑफ यूरिन एंड स्पर्म द आंसर इज व्हाट दैट इज कॉल्ड यूरेथ्रा ओके नाउ द पीएच ऑफ द यूरिन इज 6 दैट मींस दैट इज स्लाइडली एसिडिक दे कैन हार्म दिस स्पर्म बट स्पर्म इज एस्केप फ्रॉम द एसिडिटी ऑफ द यूरिन ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ two gland what are those the two gland is coppers gland and prostate gland coppers gland and prostate glands two gland is responsible for that they secretes a alkaline fluid that neutralize the acidity of the urine okay so one important question for you that the acidity of the urine is neutralized by which gland coppers gland prostate gland both and b none of these The answer is both A and B, Copper's gland and prostate gland. Now, another gland that is called seminal vesicle. That seminal vesicle produces a fluid that surrounds the sperm. They protect the sperm and that help in mobility of the sperm. And the sperm with that fluid is called semen. Okay, what is that? That is called semen. understood now during the reproduction that sperm discharges through this urethra and after the discharge of the sperm the reproduction over now one question is that that is called penis this is single organ and having no bone inside the penis then during the sexual excitement how it become erect due to presence of a spongy tissue that is called corpora cavernosa during the sexual excitement that tissue filled with blood and that leads to erectness of the penis okay when after the discharge of the sperm the blood enter again into the body now penis get its original shape and size okay the tip portion of the penis is called glans penis and this is very sensitive clear so this this is the I, uh, details about the male reproductive system i hope you all understood properly if you have any doubt or query you, you can comment okay thank you to watch watch video